Calibro. What's up? This is Calibro. Someone rising in Venus. And um, some of the energies of the cards here can be flipped. So feel free to switch those energies, vice versa. If you need a personal reading, all that information is going to be down below. Okay, so what I'm being able to see is with the two of wands in reverse here, right? So I think there is still this indecision here, right? Someone needs to make a decision here, but this person here does not want to get out of their comfort zone. They have the fear of making a wrong choice. Let's see, what's the two of wands in reverse here? Why is this the overall energy? <clears throat> because there's definitely been a breakup out here, okay? And you walked away because you realize that it's just not worth it. What's the two of wands in reverse? five of wands yeah see there is a lot of conflict here in someone's head <clears throat> could be you could be them here but i feel there's someone here who's not making a decision in order to uh, stay away from any kind of drama chaos conflict here okay because this is that inner confusion too many people involved in your connection or just too many opinions or this you know it's just like dude do i really want to reconcile should i reconcile should i not reconcile you know if i do reconcile there's going to be like we're still not on the same page get what i'm saying what's the five of wands the tower here see this is what's happening here this person here has had a realization there is a huge epiphany this person has okay but in order for this person to take a call and come towards you and make a decision like you know what i'm here to make it right that's that's where they're stuck they keep you on wait they keep you on hold here okay what's the tower here in the past what's the tower in the past three of wands okay so someone you broke up and you turned your back to this situation is what i'm getting here okay because this person probably made you wait for a very long time here what's the three of wands here what's the three of wands i think you chose to walk away after this breakup and you chose to explore other options or just you know like walk away and turn your back three of wands please You're clearly dealing with someone, you know, who had a hard time letting go of their independence, okay? I think you were trying to manifest this person or this person here was trying to, you know, it's... See so you know what I'm getting here? There was like this um, realization, okay? There was like this huge realization, you know, like your heart broke and there were like these sudden changes, you know, etc. There was this shocking truth. All right, which like completely turned your world upside down. And I feel what happened is with the three of wands here, you try, you literally turned your back. Okay, you wanted to give up on this person here, or you waited for this person to come back. But with the nine of pentacles in reverse here, I feel you were definitely dealing with someone here. You know who was probably not ready to give you a commitment, not ready to be in a relationship. And then this person did come back. I feel they did come back here. They were ready to be with you okay because the nine of pentacles and reverse is where someone is finally ready to be with you on the same page because they were very isolated very lonely so someone did come back for a while is what i'm getting here what's the five of swords in the current situation what's the five of swords Two. wait nine of ones yeah okay so right now i feel that there's someone here you know who you walked away from this person and now this person wants to come back they realize that they fucked up they want to come back they're not coming back or wanting like you know like wanting a reconciliation or not coming back realizing that they you know that the wrong thing they're just coming back because they're passionate about you what's the knight of wands what's the knight of wands <clears throat> what's the knight of wands knight of swords wow so they, not only so probably that there are two people coming towards you okay one who wants to talk to you probably from the past and one who's very passionate about you or someone who is not only passionate about you but at the same time they want to have a conversation now that you've left okay now that you've left now that you want to deal with them no more oh great ten of swords in reverse definitely a past person out here someone's rushing in to communicate with you okay and oh boy brace for impact this person has a lot to say probably a lot of hurtful words too What's the Ace of Wands in reverse? Seven of Wands in reverse. So I think there's a lack of new start here. This is what's on this person's mind. This person probably knows that they had their guards up all this while and now they're ready to let their guards down. What's the Seven of Wands in reverse? But I think...
think they realize they made a mistake by pushing you away. Maybe this person is someone who does not let people easily into their life or a loner. Or someone who just has a habit of being on their defense. Okay, they're always defensive. Seven of Wands in reverse. Seven of Wands in reverse. So, you know, it's Six of Wands here, yeah. So, I feel that um, someone wants a reconciliation out here. They do. This is what's on their mind. They want a reconciliation, okay? And I feel that um, this person, the problem here is this person lacks the enthusiasm, you know? They, they lack that enthusiasm to take action towards you. They want forward movement with you, okay? They want to take things forward. They want to move towards you. They want victory and success with you. They're letting their guards down. But, but when it comes to the action, right, that's what they're not doing. It's probably like that very on and off connection between you both, you know? That's what they're not doing. So it's like, you know, you can wish for someone to, you know, it's like, oh, I want to marry them. I want to be with them. I want to commit to them. But pick up the call and talk to them. Go make go have a date go meet them that's what they're not doing where's the first step to that initiation you know four of swords what's the four of swords here what's the four of swords here okay so you think see things for what it is you very clearly see things for what it is and like i said you walked away from this person here you think it's very risky business to be with this person but yes i do feel that you still haven't moved on from them Okay, you're still in your comfort zone and um, you haven't moved on from them. Okay, you're just not talking. I don't feel you've moved on from them yet. Okay, because moving on is like starting a brand new beginning without them where it's like, you know what, this person can be gone forever. But I don't think you're still a little stuck, you know. What's the page? What's the Knight of Cups here? This is what they feel deep down. What's the Knight of Cups? They feel a lot of love for you. They have a lot of love for you. Ready to probably, you know, emotionally open up to you. You know, this person was probably contemplating all this while, okay? Not wanting to be emotionally vulnerable, not wanting to open up. But now I feel that this person out here, right? This person is uh, ready to come towards you and tell you what they really feel. This is more of an emotional beginning, emotional commitment that they want with you. You know, someone who was hiding their feelings all this while. Okay, but now they're being very authentic, very courageous, and they're wanting to follow their heart. They have these sincere interests or romantic feelings for you, okay? What's the Knight of Cups? What's the Knight of Cups? Could even be an apology for a few of you. What's the Knight of Cups? Ace of Pentacles in reverse. So there is an emotional beginning here. This person here wants to come towards you and... Um, tell you how they really feel they want to propose you whatever but again if you're asking for a commitment there's still a lack of a commitment here okay look at that justice in reverse so things are still not going to be fair what's the ace of pentacles in reverse guys i don't sugarcoat stuff i'm telling you what the truth is so that when this person comes back you know and there is not another cycle repeating you know the same negative cycle what's the ace of pentacles in reverse I mean, I can't tell you that there's a new beginning here, but most of you who know Tarot, right, they know this is a lack of commitment here. What's the Ace of Pentacles in reverse? Why is the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, I'd rather say? It's a lot of self-doubt, you know. Eight of Swords in reverse. I feel this person needs to get out of their head or you're leaving this connection, okay? I feel this person here is finally who was trapped in their head, right, about wanting to be emotionally vulnerable to you. So they're doing that okay they're doing that they're getting out of their head they're trying to see things like you know like there is an opportunity here they can make it happen with you you know it's like they were very lost and confused all this while refusing to take responsibility for making a decision now they realize they've made a mistake and they're wanting to do in their best and make things right but in a way how in a way where they can open up to you talk to you start the conversation um emotionally be in that commitment with you but that stability is missing security is missing okay and um, there is going to be like this very clear conversation coming from their side with the Queen of Swords here. I feel that um, they'll tell you how it is. You know, what's the... But, but you know, yeah, no, actually I feel that you're going to be the one like that, not them. Because they're coming up as the night. With the Queen of Swords here, I think you're going to be the one who's... I don't know if... I don't know how interested you are right now in a relationship with this person here. You know why I say that? I say that because I, I feel that you're not very focused on wanting to revive a relationship with this person or anyone as a matter of fact here. I feel, you know, you're, you're more in that mode where you're no longer wanting to tolerate any repeated broken promises, lies, disrespectful behavior, etc. Okay. But I think it's like, you know, you're refusing to put in any time, effort into 
anyone new or at least this person here or anyone who's just not ready to reach your standards which is why i don't know if you'll be able to entertain this or no but they're getting out of their head and wanting to come towards you because they were in their own way all this while see that's why we have the king of pentacles in reverse here right that's how they want to move forward with you obviously there's no practical start how are they going to be able to if they were ready to offer that practical start then they would have been in the pride right now what's the king of pentacles in reverse why is the king of pentacles in reverse here why is the king of pentacles in reverse why is the king of pentacles in reverse the star so you know what i feel this person we have all right you know what we have the ten of cups here so this person here wants this happily ever after with you but you know right the ten of cups and the ten of pentacles the difference is about the emotional commitment so this person wants that emotional commitment with you okay and uh, you're like a wish come true for them but where is the stable commitment okay like that solid ground okay that's not there so this person is probably wanting to come in towards you relying only on a positive mindset that things will be okay between you both but there's no real um action action towards you what's the star here what's the star here what's the star here they're coming in to heal this relationship three of cups yeah see this person still in that reconciliation more they want to reconcile but with the two of wands in reverse here i feel that um it's all see we have the two of wands in reverse here too right yeah see we had it this person is still indecisive about wanting to get married to you or you know what can i say they're not ready for this because they want to reconcile they want to be with you they want a reunion with you they're positive that things will work out later in the future but not really a relationship okay at least they want to get back into the um chapter with you they want to get back to they want to get back with you you can see again we see the three of cups here so they want to celebrate they want to get back to the way you guys were but, i mean i would have wished a two of cups here but not ready to i think you know what they slowly steadily are trying to sneak in back into your life they're slowly trying to make their way back into your life after this huge realization that they've had and they know that there's going to be a lot of drama and chaos created that's why they don't want to still make a decision of just coming towards and you know what i'm going to fight for this yeah you can tell me whatever you have to i'm going to listen to it calmly peacefully and then i'm still going to fight for it no that's not how it is i think it's more like let me slowly steadily make my way towards back towards libra so maybe they'll start off with small conversations here you know what's the eight of cups here why wow. that's what's going on behind the scenes what's the eight of cups what's the eight of cups this can also be them leaving their comfort zone and moving towards wow one more card for the sun why is the sun here why is the sun here So I feel this person here now what's going to be the scenes that this person here is leaving that comfort zone and they're wanting to come towards you whatever they were attached to if they were attached to their comfort zone okay they're ready to leave their comfort zone and come towards their happiness out here okay because they they see you as their happiness okay you're like they're happily ever after and um so what I'm getting here is that um this person here is coming towards you wanting a new beginning with you but again keep this in mind okay with the 10 of wands if this person still feels that this is going to be hard work probably this person is coming with too much baggage okay could be from the past okay or could be just like this person has a lot on their plate right now but they kind of sort of still do feel that um this is hard work okay the relationship is hard work and it's too much of responsibilities etc okay all right let's see now your advice is the devil out here so i think this is advising you to confront your demons okay you need to ask yourself what are you so addicted to okay or why are you so obsessed with this person out here probably you keep letting this person get back into your life over and over and over again okay because you're attached attached you're obsessed with them okay so uh try and untangle yourself okay just choose between like uh the devil you know versus the one you don't i mean devil is not a bad card if you want to work hard if you are very goal oriented the devil is a good card right because it's your passion it's your obsession it's something that you're addicted to and you're working towards it with a lot of um passion okay you're attached to your goals but um here it depends on who you're attached to okay so just explore your shadow side okay don't be afraid to go there probably it's a source of healing probably you'll just know if that um 
it's a toxic situation and you need to start to look at how you got there in the first place okay so i think it's probably saying there is something here that you need to figure out on your own there could be something um you know a negative pattern that you're repeating and you just can't help it and that's your advice you need to go through it it's going to be no point because it would have been in the reverse if it was easy for you to let it go but when it's in the upright it's telling me that you probably don't know that there is an element out here the shadow side that you don't know about that's something you need to look into what's the shadow? what's the devil here why is the advice here as the devil why is the advice here as the devil eight of wands okay yeah see it's asking you to release something as soon as possible i don't ask what's the eight of wands what's the eight of wands so it does look like you're repeating the same pattern you're also refusing to move on from this person see didn't i say that you see the situation for what it is but you're just not being able to move on you may not be in communication with them but they're still on their mind uh, on your mind on your heart in your heart what's the eight of wands Eight of Cups, yeah. it's asking you to walk away. It's asking you to walk away because King of Pentacles in reverse. This person is still not committing. Maybe you wasted too much time here. Maybe you waited for this person to come back to you, you know, spend forever here. Maybe this person comes back towards you when they're bored. Maybe they come back to you when they're lonely, you know, something like that. And you keep thinking it's love, something like that, okay? But this is the advice and this is what it's asking you to do. You need to, this is, the road is clear. You need to move full speed you need to detach yourself emotionally okay this person is coming towards you because you're their happiness but they you this is not your happiness so it's asking you to move away from this person here detach yourself emotionally walk away find that emotional strength to walk away because probably this person is coming towards you and they will not make you happy yet two of cups in reverse why is this the outcome here why is the two of cups in reverse here Probably that's why there's still a lack of a reconciliation or like a not a reconciliation. Lack of you guys coming together. Two of cups in reverse. Two of cups in reverse. Why is the two of cups in reverse? Queen of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. So this person definitely sees you as marriage material. Okay. You're probably releasing this person. There is still a lack of you guys coming together here, okay? Because you probably still want commitment here. But this person definitely is coming in with a new beginning here, okay? There is an opportunity here. Either new love coming towards you, who values you the way you value yourself, okay? But this person, I feel, does want to invest into you, okay? And there is new love or there is this person you're wanting to reconcile with you. I feel there is an opportunity here where you guys can get, get back together, okay? Because this person does see you as marriage material. But there's still that lack of coming together. Probably because you realize that, I mean, this person has this conversation and you guys still choose not to get back together and just be friends or something like that. Okay? So that's what I have for you. Hope this reading resonates and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.